Of course, this all stems back from 2022. That was the summer that a district judge actually granted a restraining order to protect people from being sweeped during extreme heat situations. They again granted that back in 2023 as well during extreme heat waves. And I'm hearing from the attorney that represents the homeless union who says it's really key to have this in place for encampments like this one. The conduct isn't really targeted at the people it's more targeted at the encampment but i don't help, help but who's in that, the encampment help me out with that people existing. protecting people living in sacramento the central issue on both sides argued in the ninth circuit court of appeals in san francisco thursday government obligations to all its citizens shouldn't constitutionally be put on pause but how to protect them is where the city of Sacramento and the Sacramento Homeless Union's arguments diverted. Clearing homeless encampments in order to protect the public from uh, uh, the alleged hazards, a narrative which is uh, designed to create fear amongst the public. Attorney Anthony Prince says this all stems from the city appealing the district court's restraining order from last August, an order that still allows them to clear debris and clean encampments. The only thing that the that the restraining order prevented the city from doing was taking down the encampment itself uh, and uh, pushing people in, un, under the circumstances of an extreme heat wave. The Sacramento Homeless Union and ACLU arguing that sweeping in high temperatures causes state created danger in three ways. Sweeping the unhoused to an area without shade, cutting them off from life-saving supplies like water as a result of their relocation, and causing physical exertion by making the unhoused move their life belongings in extreme heat. A judge says that the two competing problems are tough to reconcile. Well, if I could be a queen for a day, I'd say, well, go duke that out with the mediator. Attorney Prince wishes things were that simple. We approach the city of, 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 uh, of uh, Sacramento every single time before we file for anything in court. Hey, let's sit down. Let's work this out. And they refuse to do that. And Nikki, there were even points during this hearing when the judges were asking why they were even having this court appearance in the first place, mainly because that order that was mentioned over and over again has already expired. So speaking to the attorney that represents the homeless union, he tells me that he does expect this to possibly be a moot point because that order has expired. And of course, we're still awaiting the judges ruling on this and what might happen next. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters. Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News.